Number 30, a soccer ball is kicked from the ground with an initial speed of 19.5 meters per second at an upward angle of 45 degrees. A player 55 meters away in the direction of the kick starts running to meet the ball at, the, at that instant. What must be his average speed if he is to meet the ball just before it hits the ground? Okay, so let's say that this is our field and this is the ball. So the ball is kicked with an initial speed, let's call it V, and making 45 degrees with the horizontal. And the movement of the ball, it's a parabola, of course. So let's say that's the movement of the ball. And the ball hits the ground at this position, let's say. That's where the ball hits the ground. So there is a second player here that starts running towards this, the, the point where the ball hits the ground. And the, the player tries to get to, to that point when the ball hits the ground. So that's the problem. That's what the problem tells us. Okay, so what's going to be our strategy here? So let's say this is let's say this is delta x that's the distance be be between this the second player and where the ball hits the ground so we know that the average speed is equal to delta x over delta t so if we find this distance over here and the time that it took for the ball to reach the ground we can calculate the average speed so that's our strategy here we have to find delta t and delta x over there. So just to make the notation simpler, I'm going to call this, let's say delta x2. And we know that this distance over here is 55 meters. So delta x is equal to 55 minus delta x2. So that's what we're going to do. This problem is a constant acceleration problem because we only have the acceleration of gravity and we want to find delta x2 and delta t. So we are going just to analyze uh, at this moment the movement of the ball. Forget about this player uh, at this moment. Okay, so since it's a constant acceleration problem, there are three different equations that we can use. They are x equals to xo plus vo t plus a e squared over 2, we can also use v equal to vo plus at, and v squared equals to vo squared plus 2 times a delta x. Ho however, those three equations are for one dimension only. And since we have two different dimensions, so let's say this is x and this is y, and this is the origin of our coordinate system, so that's the origin at where the, the ball is launched. So, so since we have two different dimensions, we have to modify those equations a little bit. So the initial speed, it's the initial speed in the x-direction, the acceleration in the x-direction, and so on. And we also have to rewrite those equations for the y-direction. So y equals to yo plus voyt plus ayt squared over 2 vy equals to voy plus ayt and vy squared equals to voy squared plus 2 times ay delta y, right? So those are the equations that we have to use for this, this problem here. So let's just circle the things that we don't know in, in this situation. So we don't know the final position, the x direction, which is delta x2. So that's what we have to find. One of the things that we have to find, we have to find the initial position, the x direction, let's say it's zero because the ball starts here. The acceleration, the x direction is zero as well because we only have acceleration in the y direction. So the acceleration of gravity uh, at our planet points downwards. So those terms goes away. So the things that we don't know are x and t, right? So those are the things that we don't know. The initial speed is the same as the final speed. So for the y component, let's see. At this moment, the initial position in the y direction is zero. The final position in the y direction is zero as well because it reaches the ground. 
I don't know the value of t, the acceleration of gravity I know, and t I don't know. So the initial speed I know, the final one I don't know, the acceleration I know, and t I don't know. So this value I don't know, I do know, do know, and I do know. So I just circle the things that I don't know, so it's easier for you to see which equation you should use. But you could, you could tell me that you don't know v o x, so we have to decompose the initial speed here into one v o x and one v o y. So v o x is just v the cosine times the cosine of the angle, and v o y is equal to v times the sine of the angle. Okay, so now we are set. So those are the two things that we have to find. We have to find x and t. So in order to find x here, we have to find t. So let's find t first. So which equation do you think that we should use to find t? So since, since you circle the things that you don't know, it's pretty, pretty easy to see. This equation over here tells us that we can find t using, using it, right? Because the only thing that we don't know in this equation is t. So let's rewrite it. So y equals to y o plus v o y t plus a y t is squared over 2. We know that this value is 0. This value is 0 as well. v o y is equal to v times the sine of the angle times t minus 9.8 over 2 times t squared. Okay, so I'm going to send this to the other side. It's going to be 4. 0.9 times t squared equal to v times sine of the angle times t. So I can cross out one of the t's over here. So 4.9 times t is equal to v times sine of theta. So t is equal to v, which is 19.5 times the sine of 45 degrees with which is square root of 2 over 2, divided by 4.9. And this gives us, let's see, this gives us 2.81 seconds. So we, we already have delta t over here, so the only thing that is left for us to find is delta x2, which is x, right? This value here is this value here. So we are going to use this equation. So x is equal to xo plus voxt plus ax t is squared over 2. But we know that this value is 0. vx is equal to v, the cosine of the angle. And this value is 0 as well. So x is equal to v, which is 19.5 times the cosine of 45 degrees times t, which we just found here, 2.81, and this gives us, let's see, this gives us, well, we have to make this, I don't know, this is 38.7 meters. Okay, so this is delta x2, so now we can go back here and find the average speed. So delta x is equal to 55 minus 38.7 so this is equal to let's see 55 minus 38.7 16.3 3 meters so this player have to run 16.3 meters in 2.81 seconds so its average speed is equal to 16.3 over 2.81 and this gives us an average speed of 5.8 meters per second so that's the answer of this exercise